our cooperatives serve over a million Kentucky residents. For a number of years, a lot of those residents, a growing number, have asked for an option for renewable power. Last year, East Kentucky Power and our 16 cooperatives moved forward with building a solar farm. This is a 60-acre solar farm that East Kentucky Power is building for its 16 owner-member electric cooperatives. And this is a little bit different than most solar farms you may be familiar with. This is a situation that's referred to as community solar arrangement. So if you're a member of one of those 16 cooperatives, you can actually license one or more of the panels located here on this farm. And you don't have to put anything on your roof. You don't have to worry about the maintenance of it. We own it, we operate it. We're harvesting the energy of the sun here. It's a different type of farm, but this is a farm. And there's a little bit more skepticism from some of those farm communities. A lot of people have not seen these large solar farms. So there is a little bit of a challenge in acclimating Kentuckians to getting their power from solar facilities. We want to educate our cooperative members about solar panels and how it works and how the cooperative solar arrangement works. Using solar energy to make electricity has been out there for a number of years and there's been a growing number of solar farms around the country. Electric cooperatives, actually we've talked to several in other states that have done similar arrangements. We've kind of looked at what they did and how they did it and tried to pattern some of the things that we're doing after those and try to learn from their mistakes. This is something different for Kentucky. Solar farms are a pretty low impact to the landscape. Of course, it, it changes the way it looks, obviously. We have 60 acres of solar panels covering the ground, but we think it looks pretty good. We hope that people take ownership of the program. Of course, as an electric cooperative, we're member-owned, so our members have an important place in any of the projects that we do. For the typical home, if you want to offset your usage, you're probably looking at licensing 25 to 30 panels. You can license them for 25 years, and certainly they're expected to last that long and produce electricity. I think the lifespan of these panels is something along the lines of 30 years, so after that 25 years, probably those will be changed out for something else. We feel pretty confident in their ability to operate for that full 25 years and provide value. According to our calculations, we think that uh, over the course of about 15 years, the panels will pay for themselves. And it's something that if somebody is interested in renewable power, and that's important to them, we believe it's a very good option for them. We started building this solar farm in May of 2017. You can see it from the interstate, Interstate 64 as you come from Lexington. And we started getting calls from people who are driving down the interstate. They see the solar panels, they see this big solar farm being built, and they're interested in seeing it. They'd like to come take a tour, and of course, uh, while we're under construction, we can't do that. But it's great that people want to see this new way of making electricity here in Kentucky. This is Cooperative Solar Farm 1 that we're located at today. And who knows, there may be Cooperative Solar Farm 2 in the future. But in any case, our cooperatives are dedicated to serving our members as affordably and reliably as we can. And while we want to be innovative and find new ways to provide electricity, we want to make sure that we're doing it in an affordable, reliable way for those million Kentuckians that are paying the bills.